Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Golf Week TV special report. I'm Asher Wildman. Annika Sorenstam has come out and said that this is her last year on the LPGA Tour, and here to talk about that some more is Golf Week's Jay Coffin and Bethany Baldry. And I guess the first question should be, are we surprised by this? Well, I am, yeah, especially the, that it's coming this soon. You know, I, I actually just got off the phone with Suzanne Pedersen. I feel exactly the way she did. We saw it coming eventually, but not after she just won a tournament by seven strokes and annihilated the field playing some of the best golf of her life. Certainly don't expect that. Yeah, the reason why I'm shocked is because we know how hard she fought back from injury last year and how, ba how badly she wanted to play well this year. And to fight that hard and come back and play this well and hang it up after one year just doesn't seem like her. But, hey, she wants to ride off into the sunset and explore some other avenues. And, you know, more power to her. She's doing it on, on her own terms, which is what she said. And, Beth Ann, there's a certain magical number out there. A lot of us thought she was going to go after, but now it seems like it's not going to happen. Yeah, that number's 88, and that's Kathy Whitworth's total victories and, and Annika has no desire to try and eclipse that mark and she's actually said that for a while he thought maybe if she got another role this year that, that it might change but but that's not what motivates her she's ready to start a new chapter in her life it is funny we in the cynical media you know she's she said that 88 has never mattered to her but we've never believed her no she said it for five years it doesn't oh. it's not that big of a deal it's the majors it's you know 88 not that big of a deal we thought oh she's she's crazy well Bruce, uh, it's not that big of a deal to No, her. it's not. Well, let's just put this question on hold for just a second, because let's say she goes out for the rest of the year and just dominates like she's done in the past. Does she change her mind? Does she say, you know what, maybe I do want to pursue it? You know, actually, she, she won't. I talked to Pia Nelson, who's been one of her closest supporters and, and mentors over the years, and, and she assured me that this is Annika's decision, and Annika knows what it takes to be the number one player in the world, and she's not going to be happy or content with being the fifth best player in the world. So if she can't go at it 110% and put in all the effort that she needs to to be at the top, she's not going to do it, and she wants to pursue other avenues. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, you know, she may rack up victories and be a victory number six and victory number seven come near the end of the year, and it's going to be in the back of her head, and, and she may think about it, but she's not going to let anybody know publicly. And I mean, she you know, was bold enough to come out and have that press conference today, and she says she's going to do it. She's going to do it. I, I don't see her changing her mind. And, and Pia said that she found out about this two weeks ago, and Annika told her and said it was very clear in her mind that this is what she wanted to do. And Annika's obviously won two out of the last three events <laughs> since then, so if that didn't change her mind. Yeah. I don't know that four or five more. If a seven-shot butt whooping a couple, a couple days ago didn't yeah. change her mind, then nothing is. I don't, so exactly. let me pose this question. She's going to retire, but will we still see her in events? I mean, when players say they retire, they still come out and make some guest appearances, if you will. No. Will we see her at some, no, at some I, events? No, absolutely not. I, I don't think so. I mean, she said today she doesn't like using the R word. She doesn't like to say retire, but she's retiring from competitive golf. That, that's what she said. She's stepping away a little bit. She's not going to come out here like Nancy Lopez and play some of these events like Rosie Jones had had a little bit and thinking about it, it. That's not in her. It's not in her blood and in her system to come out and play five or six events, the most difficult events, mind you, and go out and struggle to make cuts. If she can't compete, if she can't be the best, and have a chance to win, she's not going to tee it up. There's no way. And she, she came out and said that the ADT would be her last LPGA mm -hmm. event. She said it definitively today. And she said that Dubai, where she'll be defending an LET event in mm -hmm. December, will be her last event. Yeah, typical Annika. She's, she's thought this through. Yes. <laughs> Down to the very last putt, she's thought it through. You two have covered her on tour for several years. What will she always be remembered for in your mind? Well, she was asked the question today, and she had about five different answers. I mean, mm -hmm. so if she couldn't answer the question, I can't answer it. I, I mean, obviously, the Colonial playing with the men, that's a big deal. And shooting 59, that to me are, are probably the two that are going to stand out most in my mind. You know, obviously, all the majors. But I think also is that she just shows up every week. I mean, just like Tiger Woods. If she doesn't have her A game, she's still going to be there. And I mean, it was absolutely dead solid money to finish in the top ten every week. And you can't say that about too many other people, except for maybe. Lorena right now. So showed up every week, 59, playing against the men. Those are the things I'm going to remember. And raising the level of fitness on tour, I think, mm -hmm. for sure, taking it to another level. She's such a perfectionist in, in every aspect of the game. I think that uh, people will always remember for that. So today goes down as a sad day for the LPGA, but a happy one for Annika? Uh, yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah. I, I think I think it's a little bittersweet for mm -hmm. her. You know, it's hard to walk away from something that's meant so much to you for so long, that's driven every cell of your body but but I think 
I think she's happy. You know what I what I'm I'm probably the most sad about is, is is that I think that she could she could do what she's doing right now for another couple of years and right now it's basically Lorena's tour and then Annika and Annika is a clear number two now after last week and then Paula right there but that's a big three right there that's a solid three and that after this year it's it's gonna Annika's dropping out and and we're not gonna be able to see those three going head to head like we do each week again that's what I'm probably most sad about. All right, well, for Jay Coffin, Beth Ann Baldwin, we thank you for joining us on this Golf Week TV special report. I'm Asher Wildman, and be sure to read all about Annika Sorenstam's retirement on GolfWeek.com.